Hello, my name is Kiana. Welcome back to my channel. Today is my birthday, October 1st. I'm 22 years old and I'm here to talk about Manny Santos for my Degrassi recreation series. So, it's been two weeks. I promise you, we, oh well, I got busy. I have life to do. So, it is what it is. Here it is. How about Manny? So, let's start. Um, let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. So, um, I just have just a few questions. Just a few. Just a few questions about Manny that I would like the Degrassi writers to answer. Um, why was she friends with Emma for so long? I understand. She was her best friend and everything. But... Emma, Emma, Emma Nelson, Emma Nelson treated Manny like crap a bunch of times, like full-fledged, a bunch of times, called her a slut to her face, like, I wouldn't be friends with somebody like that, <laughs> I wouldn't be friends, all right, I wouldn't be friends, um, uh, Said some messed up shit to Manny to her face. For some reason, they remained friends to the very end. Again, why were they friends for so long? Let's be, let's be honest. Not not a lot of people would have stuck with with Emma as long as they did. And I don't think that Manny should have been. Okay. Uh. But moving on. Uh. Next question. Why did y'all have her chasing after Craig for so long? I'll let that marinate for a second. Why did y'all have her chasing after Craig for so long? I don't get that. After their first couple breakups, baby, you should just been over. Because we all know in the end, they weren't good for each other. They weren't. They were, they were toxic. They were too toxic for each other. And it wasn't like they had a relationship that was like filled with anger and shit. Like, no, they were toxic more like... They didn't have a relationship outside of a sexual experience. I said what I said. They didn't have a relationship outside of a sexual experience. Because really, let's be honest here. What did they have in common? When she was dating Craig, we didn't really know her dad. So... We didn't know that her dad was also abusive, so. But he was like more like emotionally and verbally abusive. And Craig's dad was physically abusive. So, okay, I'll give you that. That's what they had in common. But other than that, what else did they have in common? What else did they have in common? Not much. To be on each other for like six years she spent most of her high school life with this man named Craig again when it should have broke up like five seasons bro five seasons and I could be wrong. It could have been longer. It could have been longer. But I'm going to say five seasons. She been with this man, Craig. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. Next final question I want them to ask. To not ask, but answer. Final question. K. 
okay, this might give me some backlash though. Um, her and Jay, they were cute. They were nice in the moment. But why did you make them end game? I'm gonna let that one marinate. I'm gonna let that one marinate. I'm gonna let that one marinate. Anybody watching, I'm gonna let you type out your anger comments, whatever. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that marinate before I get to my point. Okay. Do my nose. I got some breakouts. And I should have shaved my unibrow. But you're at a far enough distance you don't notice. And if you do notice, shut up. I know. I just told you. Okay. So. Alright. Um, my point. Um, so, yeah. Her and Jay... They were nice in the moment. But I personally believe they shouldn't have been in game. I believe that there were better options for me. Any. He was nice for the moment, but they shouldn't have been in game because let's be honest. Let's be real. Let's get real. Uh, they were about as random and confusing as Emma and Spinner. That nobody likes to talk about. Nobody likes to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. Manny and Jay were about as random and confusing relationship options as Emma and Spinner because they were the same thing, the same thing. They did not have any interactions. They didn't have any conversations, but I will say they had better on-screen chemistry than Emma and Spinner did, but still random as hell, random. So anyway, Manny. But that's only questions I really, questions and concerns I really have about Manny that I want the Degrassi writers to answer, to address, okay? So, because really, let's be real here. Manny, especially as a non-white character on the show, she was well developed as a character. She was well developed because let's be real, let's be honest. The first couple of seasons, like season one and two, they tried to like make her seem as just Emma's sidekick, Emma's best friend slash sidekick. And then they introduced Craig and finally gave her some context, a story, and we got to know Manny. We, which led, you know, okay, finally gave her a context and story, which led to her being the icon that she is, okay? We all know the line. We all know the line. I don't want to be cute. I don't want to be adorable. I want to be hot. Boom, bam, we see a thong. Boom, bam, we see a thong. <laughs> right after that, icon, legendary. You know the scene, you know the look, you know the outfit. But since I do not have a blue off the shoulder top, we're not doing that. What today? I have a yellow one, but it's not really the same. Like, I could have made it work, but then you still would have been like, and also, 
I'm not gonna put on a thong. Yeah, not gonna do that. So, but you know the look, you know the iconic walk down the hallway, okay? All right, so, yeah. She didn't want to be cute. She didn't want to be hot. She didn't want to be adorable. She wants to be hot. And bam, we have a story now. We have a story. She meant, which? Meant, like, I have a script, but as I'm saying this, I just realized something. I have another question. Why did it take Craig to get her story? <laughs> Why did it take Craig to her to give her a story? Okay, moving on. So, um, Let me check my notes here. <laughs> so, like I said, care man. I said care. Manny is one of the only original cast non-white members. Original cast non-white members that really had a development that was done well. Like I have no criticism for how they developed Manny. Because they did it fantastically. They did it well. My only thing is, I don't like that they made her... She wasn't boy crazy, necessarily. But she was cray crazy. For, again, like five seasons. Okay? It started in, like, eighth grade. She had a crush on him. And they dated for a couple weeks and then he broke up with her. And that's when she had like her whole person personality flip. And then she wanted to be hot. And then he finally gave her a time of day again. And they were on and off for years. Then he was dating Ashley and she was the side chick and she stayed that way. And then he finally broke up with Ashley in they had a baby she aborted it, it, it everything years okay and uh, took her a minute to get over him when i want to tell you it took her a minute she had to finally see that man on crack she had to finally see him on crack in order to toss him to the side Again, that's what I say. I didn't like that she spent most of her high school life. Again, about five seasons. So about five years. On Craig. And to finally leave him, she had to notice him on Craig. But she had to finally witness this after... He, she was tall. He's on crack. She was tall. He's on crack. And she was like, no, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You're on crack. <laughs> I don't believe that. You're on crack. You're just jealous. Oh, that was one of her iconic lines. You're just jealous. Okay. My finally witnessed him on crack after telling, telling uh, what's her name? Ellie. I'm telling Ellie, like, no, my man's not on crack. You're on crack. And <laughs> when him on crack, and then she was like, oh, well. Guess Ellie was right. Didn't really offer a proper apology for that. But... Anyway, so
So I get, that's something I didn't necessarily like, but so again, she wasn't boy crazy, she was Craig crazy. And then she finally got over Craig. Had a couple of relationships in between, you know, JT, uh, Damien, that one kid, what was his name? Chester, they went on a date. Um, full fledged weirdo Chester, yeah. Um, then uh, we land on Jay. End game. Jay. All right. Again, it's about as random. Their relationship was about as random as Emma and Spinner. No one likes to talk about it because they have more chemistry. But let's be real here. Like I pointed, they were random as hell. As hell, they were random. They did not have any type of interaction, conversations, nothing. Until she crashed her dad's car and needed a mechanic. I don't like okay cool cute but like I said I don't believe they should have been in game I don't believe they should have been in game it's just um she had she, she had she had better options she uh, she had better options She had better options, in my opinion. Like, okay, they were good for the moment. They were, they were good for the moment. Okay. Uh, Manny and Jade, yeah, they were good for the moment. Have them date for a couple of seasons, but don't just leave them there as end game. <laughs> She had better options. She could have found a man in college. Okay. Yeah, granted, she did date that psychopath professor. Was he a professor or was he a TA? Either way, they went against school conduct. And, um... Uh, He was I think what Manny should have took away from that relationship was find a man that will treat you like how you're supposed to be treated and left it at that. Personally, I just believe they shouldn't have been in game and, I'm a, and I stand. I stand by my opinion. You can't change my mind about it. You just can't. You just can't change my mind about that. It's just... Like, I used to be a person that was, like, all for Jay and Manny. And then once I just finished the, the series, I was, I was thinking. I was like... Wait... They didn't actually have any interaction. They were about as random as Emma and Spinner. And they were. They're about as random as Emma and Spinner. But since they had more chemistry, no one likes to talk about it. But here we are. We're going to talk about it.
we're gonna talk about it, okay? Because pull up the episodes before she crashed her dad's car and needed and her day boo and all that. Tell me, tell me, show me, show me when Manny and Jay had any type of interaction before this. If you can show me that, I'll shut the hell up. But, I bet you, you can't. I bet you can't. I bet you can't. Because you can't. I promise you, you can't. I promise you, you can't. That fell. Yeah. Nars orgasm. This iconic blush here. You know what? For this look, I'm going to update the look I'm going for. I'm going to update it a little bit. For it's because you know, for the last couple of videos, I kept I try to keep it in the same time when it came to the makeup. But I think this look deserves a slight upgrade. More my style. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. Because it's what she deserves. Manny. Was a character that kept up with the times. She was. She was a character that kept up with the times. And. And personally. This is how I feel like she would have worn her makeup. In 2020. Okay. As you can tell, personally, I wear a lot of blush, but just this brush itself. But yeah. Oh, my drawer not closing. My drawer not closing. Oh my God. There we go. So. The look I'm going for today it's not as as iconic as um, that thong outfit was, but personally for me, it was a look that I could achieve because Manny, what? Let's talk about Manny's hair. <laughs> Let's talk about Manny's hair. Okay. Manny has some hair issues. That's a complaint I could present to about Manny. Uh, she had some hair issues. First couple seasons. All right. Cool. Cute. Her character was 12. It was 12 hair. Um, here we go. Blow some some highlighter out of the way. Now, uh, so it was 12 hair. When she was with Craig, it was long. It wasn't bangs. It was, it was, it was, uh, actually towards the end, she did have bangs. But in the beginning, it was, she wore a lot of ponytails. She did. She wore a lot of ponytails. Then they finally, then she finally got bangs. And that's the, 
Manny that we all know, really. In the finals, she had bangs, right? She had bangs. Me, personally, I cut bangs about a year or two ago, about a year and a half ago, right? I cut bangs. I look like Dora the Explorer. I look like Dora the Explorer. So, that was the air, that was AC. So, uh, I was going to do that. I was And then another thing, she she wore hats. She wore a lot of hats. To before bangs, she wore a lot of hats. I like hats, but I have baseball hats slash dad hats. So I wasn't gonna do because she had like she had fedoras and newsboy caps. I wasn't gonna do that. And she also wore a lot of track suits. Those were cute, but I don't have the the time or the patience to order one because I'm not about to go into a store. So you'll see the look that I chose. But let's talk about her hair though. So again, she had before bangs, and then she had bangs, right? There, and her hair was long bangs cute <laughs> oh oh my god ugly excuse me right so bangs long hair cute then she cut off their hair like shoulder length that's fine it and then and then it was layers then okay little little rock star ish right right then uh put some hand sanitizer on my hands oh. I don't really like that lavender I don't, I don't really like that okay all right and then um okay so she had like this little rock star ish look going on all right then she went blonde which was not her color Blonde was not Manny Santos's color. Oh, shoot. There. We all know. We all know. We all said it when we saw it. Blonde was not manny's color it it wasn't you're you'll be lying if you said it was mm, okay so eyeshadow palettes for today we're gonna use two um i only have i collectively only have three eyeshadow palettes so i use the ones that i did <laughs> that i will use every day now um we're gonna take the trendy in tokyo bh cosmetics palette and use the the color blossom right here at the top right then we're gonna take ABH Jackie Ina palette, right? And we're gonna take Zan and Soleil as the inner corner. Oh, and Pinker. Okay. 
So we all know our colors, we all know the palette. But how was that? I need a tighter brush. Yeah. Again, we all saw it, we all witnessed it. Blonde wasn't her color. Then she, the following season, she finally got her hair right. Okay, grew out the layers a little bit, and it was no longer blonde. Thank God. It was, it was, uh, it was her normal color. Maybe a little bit lighter in brown, but dark colors were more of her forte than blonde. So, uh, I'm going to do my eye makeup and I'll be back with the finished look. Okay, final look. Uh, do I look like I'm about to shove cotton candy into your mouth? Like, here, try this. I have Lamy Lamb and Horsey Horse and <laughs> all that type of stuff. Berry Bear. Very, I tried to do like the little spike thing. It doesn't work out for my hair. So, um, can I see my under eyelashes? Cute. So, this is my final look inspired by the first date that Manny and Craig had. Um, again, I think the character of Manny Santos speaks for herself on why she's my favorite character and why she's so iconic. Like, she's a pop culture reset when she reset herself that she wants to be hot. Like, she makes the argument for herself. I have no reason to speak. So... It is what it is. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, share. Uh, follow my Instagram. I'll link it down below. And see you next week. Or in two weeks. However this goes. When she